Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Just earlier this morning, we filmed another great affordable liveaboard yak for you. And now we're packing our suitcases to go back to the shipyard to check on our Explorer yacht build. I know all of you have been desperately waiting for the update video on Naughty Guys, and we really appreciate how patient most of you have been with us while we're trying to get this ready. But it's all about to change. Starting this month, you're about to get so much content and you're literally not gonna know what to do with it. Easy, easy, tap the brakes a little bit there. We have so much traveling going on and filming at the shipyard, but to hold you over, we actually have a little sneak peek of our boat in the current state doing this video. So keep watching the whole video, don't skip. Some point in the video, you will see the status of our build today. Like literally photos and videos from this morning and we're also going to reveal the major milestone we are headed back to the shipyard to film for you guys. But before we get into this affordable liveaboard yacht tour, real quick. We would like to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. I actually can't believe that we found a nutritional drink that Rico likes. Well, most of the green powders I've tried, they taste like grass and that's really not my thing. <laughs> but um, Nikki and Jason from Gone with the Winds are staying with us and they were drinking it every morning. So one morning, Jason actually convinced me to try it and it tasted really good. He actually turned to me and he said, can we get this? I can drink this. That's because AG1 by Athletic Greens is so much more than just a green powder. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. It's your daily multivitamin and multimineral, pre and probiotic immunity support, and yes, it provides your daily greens blend too. You guys know how much we travel and getting a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals on the go has always been our struggle. AG1 by Athletic Greens makes it effortless. It's just a good daily habit. One scoop or travel packet of AG1, eight ounces of water every day, that's it. AG1 contains vitamin C, zinc, and healing mushrooms to support your immunity. It also contains energy supporting ingredients and natural form of B12, biotin, bioavailable folate, and magnesium. Athletic Green sources the best and the highest quality ingredients it can find. It is gluten-free and dairy-free, vegan, keto, low calorie, and less than one gram of sugar per serving. Check. I'm just really excited to add this to our daily regimen and to get a boost of energy that's sustained throughout the day. And maybe you can cut down on your coffee. Just go to athleticgreens.com slash naughty styles and get started on your order. Also, Athletic Greens is going to give you guys a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All right, let's get back to that affordable liveaboard yacht tour. this 2003 Sea Ray 390 motor yacht. This is a very interesting aft cabin motor yacht. You guys know we like our aft cabins for liveaboard possibilities, and this is a good one. Let's check it out. Yeah, We're gonna so, start on the swim platform. So you have, of course, this is a fixed dock here where we are right now. So yeah. it's not a floating dock, doesn't go up and down, but normally this will be a really nice way actually to enter the boat or to step onto the boat on the little swim platform we have here and then you have a proper staircase going up into the cockpit which is a raised cockpit because it's an aft cabin so you what we have here can down see here. how much room we got here so this is pretty exciting on the interior why don't we start on your side because i see some fun sure. stuff there and we'll move this way all right start on the port side we have barbecue mounted here we have the swim ladder right underneath this little cover there which flips in easy to get in and out of the water then we have a shore water inlet right there and then we have the shore power inlet and a cable connection, as well as a transom shower. Moving over, there is the window for the aft cabin. This looks like some kind of compartment. Oh, you can hang your dock lines. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, Didn't not expect bad. it at all. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you have a cavity, you might as well use it for storage, right? Then let's um, move up into the cockpit and then we go and check out the foredeck, right? Move on up. Okay, so we just left this closed, you guys, because it is air conditioned. You definitely could just remove this or make it rollable to be able to use it as a door or use it like on our boat we did. 
one of these kind of things yeah, if you wanted yeah. to as well. But anyway, so we'll just slide underneath this so you can see what's going on here. It's uh, nice and cold there. Quickly here, we have our fresh water fill as well. All right, coming up. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for opening the door. Mm -hmm. This is nice. So it might feel a little bit dark right now because we have this mesh everywhere, all around. You guys, this is a pretty expensive upgrade. It doesn't seem like much, but it is something that when you see a boat that has that, you know it's been well cared for and you're buying this without you needing to spend money on it. In the places like Florida, this is a huge thing. It's definitely keeping your boat nice and cool. Let's go forward first. Sounds good. See, even this, even we didn't have that. That's yeah. pretty impressive. A really comfortable sidewalk, actually. And then here is our sideboarding option, which we actually used to get on board today. Yeah, just have a little staircase going up. You could do that. And then technically it's a 42, just under 42 feet length of overall. As you can see, you got the mesh here covering the windshields, protecting everything from the sun. She looks really shiny and well taken care of. Yeah, someone must have done a recent polishing job on this here. Yeah, for 2003, she looks great. Can I point this out here for a second? This is my first time seeing purple dock lines. It's pink, clearly very pink. Take your sunglasses off. That's a first. Does it look purple to you? Oh, maybe it's pink, okay. Because in German, we don't have purple, we have rosa. Uh -huh. And we have pink. Isn't rosa is pink? No, rosa is like lighter color. It's pink, lighter I, pink. Oh, maybe. And then we have lila. Oh, that's what it is, lila. Yeah, lilac, like purple. All How right. did we get onto um, this? Back to boats. Little, uh, um, Come on. <laughs> got a little sidetracked here. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Off to the foredeck. It is actually got really slick lines, right? For an aft yeah. cabin, Morayat. It has a cool little profile. It's definitely... Uh, stands out like you see it you know that's a sea ray well you know what there's the cruisers as well and the sea rays so they do have a very similar exterior look to them so you can see here as well everything's covered in mesh and protective mesh it's great it's just anytime you see a boat like that and you're interested in buying you go check check somebody cares so what do we have at the bow we have a searchlight mounted here on the bow as well as the anchor the windlass right here with a little stopper mechanism there so you can lock in your chain so you don't accidentally deploy your anchor and there's obviously still like a safety attached to that as well i'm gonna open this side get here get to work my friend yep back to work so we have of course the anchor locker with the fresh water or a washdown hose attached there you got a fender stored in there and we have the same here on this side also lots of storage for fenders, dock lines. It's a little step litter. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. Our foot remote switches for the windlass. And that's it on the bow. We're gonna go back on our port or you sure. wanna go back the way we came? Oh, yeah, we can go port? back, yeah, why not? Okay, so there's rails everywhere. It is definitely very doable. So if you compare nice this to the Meridian 48 or the 459, right? This seems like the helm is further back, further aft than on the 448 Meridian. True. Also, this boat is a lot faster than the Meridian, actually. Yes. I think top speed is 28 knots and cruising was 24, 23 knots. Pretty quick. And another thing I want to point out, sometimes you guys say like, well, why isn't this railing taller? Because you're so used to us touring super yachts and there's a completely different standard once you go over 24 meters. There is a reason for this. I think it's designed this way that most of the people will clear it with their hips. In general, like- You're, you're referring to Florida? and Miami residents with slightly wider My hips. My hips don't lie. <laughs> no, I'm referring to a normal person okay. <laughs> that will clear this because you, in general, would be just above that. There's a reason that the, the railing is set up this way. Most of the vessels of this size. Well, I mean, theoretically, even over 24 meters, it yeah. can be a lower railing, but then it wouldn't be built to class. So if you build to class, then you have to have that. You have the regulations. But once you go over 24 meters, you have a lot more beam here, <laughs> so you don't need to think about stuff like One this. One would but think. Just something to point out. Okay, as we go back, you guys can see that we do have a safety line that over there was just open. The gate, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's protected. And yeah. it's also quite practical having this rail here to hold on to when you board or deboard. Okay, come on in. Back into the air condition. Yeah, very nice Ooh. here. I gotta say, if I lived on this yacht, I think I would definitely have the mash in a lot of the time. You can still stay out, but it does make it really nice in here. Agreed. Should we check out what Agreed. we got here? <laughs> we got naughty sunglasses. Oh, 
in case you guys are shopping for some sunglasses. In the dead of winter. Floating aviators, go to our website, shopnaudi.com. There's a nice air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we have? Oh, we have a little like cavity as well. They just decided to give you all the storage they can in the spaces that are still available. There's a shoe storage. See, that's where we're supposed to put our shoes. There we go. All right. I like that. Definitely on our list. Oh, drink fridge. Yep. With just one, one beer. beer. You want to share after we're done with the tour? <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, bit of storage with firefighting equipment and stuff there. We have a sink, AC coming out here. It definitely feels super nice. And then I'm guessing it's a very similar, yep, cavity here is used for cleaning supplies. There's a large sitting area here. It's probably more storage underneath there as well. <gasps> oh my goodness. Sometimes I just gotta push a little. You spend so much time telling me not to open stuff and then you push me to open. So it's like mixed signals. So we could put a little foldable table here and actually have dinner here with some chairs. There's space. It's a good size settee and you have the full beam here because the walkways don't continue on all the way back. That's very Same true. Same like on other Afghan motor yards, a similar setup. It's a little bit of a trade-off, but I think this is very usable. So what you don't have is kind of like those raised flybridge, which some other Afghans have. You have one level, which a lot of people would, I think, prefer. Just having one level, there's less stairs, you're all hanging out together when you're underway, you know, there's no kind of split there. So that is pretty neat. Same with the hard top, it's exactly one level as well. And it's all structurally in, it's completely closed in. It's all storage. Oh, good to have. The cool thing is it's completely enclosed. You have your windshield wipers, so if it's raining or you get a lot of spray doing, you know, an ocean, not ocean crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong boat! <Yeah. laughs> don't send us messages no. asking us what the range is and if you can cross the Atlantic. I don't think this would be the boat I would choose to be crossing the Atlantic. No, I don't think you can choose this boat <laughs> to go unless you have a trailer behind with a fuel tank. Well, you can do like a no. massive, you wouldn't. massive... You would sink the boat <laughs> with all that fuel you want to put on here. I'm not being serious, come on. So you have windshield wipers if it's raining or you get spray on the windshield. You have a little vent window right in the center. You can open that to get some air through here if you don't want to use it. Just really need to vent you can open you the window. Can, yeah. <laughs> and then you have still two sliding windows, one on the port side and a, another one on the starboard side. All right, you want to do the helm? Yeah. Okay, go. Well, first of all, let's turn around quick. We have two very large helm chairs, actually. Do you think these are original? These look really, really good. They look great. I mean, if they were always covered and always here, then They yeah. might be original. So there's another little cabinet here on the starboard side. It's just access to equipment and cables and so on. Right here below, before we forget that, we have a bell mounted. A bell? Yes and the fire suppression system manual release pull function. Oh, like a fog bell? Yeah. It's missing the little thing inside. So you gotta, you gotta do it from the outside with a hammer. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's turn around. Visibility is really good, actually. I know, of course, we have the mesh on, so you can't really see exactly clear how good the visibility is, but I have a very good vantage point. And actually, you know, looking through this salon, I can see through the windows right to the side of the boat. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. point. It's quite unusual. It's almost like a sailboat setup. For, like a companion way? Yeah, but the way that flips back yes. here, you know, instead of just sliding, and usually the sliding ends here. So then looking at our helm, we do have upgraded electronics. There is an upgraded Raymarine chart plotter. There is an upgraded Garmin chart plotter. We still have some of the analog gauges right on top here, but even they look like in perfect condition. It's pretty incredible. And then we have all the crucial switches we need here at the helm, bilge pumps, thruster controls, windshield wiper controls, autopilot cockpit, all the switches which running the electronics here at the helm, as well as running lights and navigation lights, everything is right here above the helm wheel. Then we have our throttle control here on the starboard side, bow thruster remote right here, and then moving over. We have the shift control here, so it's separately mechanically controlled. We have our trim tabs right there, autopilot control, VHF radio, and that's it. Did we talk about the hatch? Yeah, there's an overhead hatch, which you can open to get some more breeze in here if you don't want to use the air conditioner. I think it's time we check out the interior. I agree with you, I think we should. So we have this companion way, double door, basically like a gate door. And then we have this door that flips down and, and then slides, slides back as well. Slides yeah. back. Why do you think that would be good or not? 
Well, if you have a sliding door, for example, you have to have a cavity where it's going. Yeah. So there is no cavity here where you would be able to have the sliding door. So this was the, I guess, the best option to accomplish that, to have a door. And, and also it gives us more space on the inside because they didn't try to build that Ex in. Exactly, because on the one side you have the helm, on the other side you wouldn't have enough of a cavity to slide it in. Besides, you need the headroom to actually go to the master. All right, let's go down. And in case you guys are wondering why this orange fan is standing here, that's just to circulate the air yep. and prevent molds. Great, look how tip-top shape this boat is. Yeah, this boat is a 2003, and for 2003, it looks very, and very I good. And I gotta say, it smells very good, too. It does. It just smells fantastic. Yep. I don't know what they're doing, but it's great. All right, welcome to the salon. We do have boats on both sides here, so it feels a little darker than it actually is. I wouldn't say that's very tall. If you're 6'3", this might be a little tight for you. But yeah. for Rico and I, I'm 5'7", he's 5'10". Yeah, it's definitely working. So we have a really large seating area here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I like this cute little poofs. It does still look very much modern. Like it doesn't feel dated at all. Very timeless. And then something while we were checking the boat out, Rico found something which I thought was very interesting. Okay, let me come around here so I can see it when you do it. Yeah. All right. You just pulled this. Oh, this is so, so it cool. It goes all the way in there. You know, somebody could actually sleep here if needed. Or if you're just hanging out, you can scoot it out and really have like a nice loungy area. I like it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So good AC in here. It feels nice and cool. We have a TV here. So this is what you would do. You would pull this out, sit there and... Watch a movie or so. Get a little movie night. Yeah, exactly. What's on the staircase? It looks like some kind of Check cabin. it out. Oh, you want me to open it? Sure. Uh, What's that? Central vacuum. Oh, no way. Yes way. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Where do we go from, do um, we go forward? We'll go forward. Okay, so you guys see like this is also mesh that we saw from exterior. If we open that up, it's gonna be really bright in here. Yeah, and the windows are actually nicely tinted. Of course they have blinds, which we put up right now to get just more light in here, but you can have it completely blacked out and your privacy. We have a drawer here. Here goes me opening stuff, it's a small boat. Yeah, we're in a galley and it's a great one person galley for sure. We have my favorite Norgal fridge. Do we? Yep, you guys know how much I like this fridge. Oh, memories, memories oh, are memories. coming back. memories, yes. So we got that and then we got a microwave. Storage here, it even goes deep in there as well for stuff you don't use all the time. I always like these, they're kind of nostalgic feel. Garage doors, other way garage doors, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> then we have our sink, which is actually a double sink. Oh no, it's not. No, that's what is, your trash. wait a minute. <gasps> no way. Trash slide. That's interesting. Yeah. And then the trash can is underneath. Have you ever seen that before, next yeah. to the sink? I mean, I've seen it somewhere, I don't know where I'm I have never seen it next to the sink. I think that's very interesting. And then here, we have our two burner cooktop. So you have all this extra space. If you're not using the plate, you really have extra counter space, which is nice. Some more storage. They have a coffee machine here. And let's look at the upper one. Oh, hello. Pretty good. And then we still have a bit of compartment here. And all of this. It's actually not too bad. Not too bad. I think it's pretty decent for a couple. It would definitely work. Mm -hmm. Here we have our access to our kind of a shared head for this cabin, but also day head. This is a two cabin, two head layout. Mm -hmm. So this is our forward cabin. What do you think of this setup? Interesting. Right? I think of like a single person being in this cabin, right? And they almost have basically like a couch that, you know, that they can use. Tons of space at the way this is split. And this is the bed. You still have a lot of real estate just to, you know, get dressed, move around. You can put a table here and work. You could. This you could totally be your could. office. Yeah. So then you have an overhead hatch mm -hmm. for ventilation. Yep. And we still have another window here. Oh, this little here, window there, right? Which is covered right now. Yep. And storage wise, we have all of these. Let's open one up. Decent. And then this is our hanging locker. Hmm. <laughs> this little Not TV bad. put away. So there's a carpet stored here right now, which is from the cockpit. Yes. So just excuse the carpet, but look at that underneath. Yes, yeah, so you have all of this. Wow. And then also where you're sitting, there's also storage there, all mm -hmm. the way underneath that bed there. Storage on the out port here, and even a little bit up here. That's great. That's a pretty cool guest cabin, huh? I think so. I'm more looking at it as like almost like a, a home office. Yeah. 
just a little extra space and having being able to host people if you wanted to. Home office and overflow of your own wardrobe. Yeah, and you. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and then also you have your ensuite right here. Hmm. Really nice. You've got a sink. You've got storage. Check this out. Wow, this is great. Separate toilet, separate yeah, got a, shower. Got a vacuum flush toilet, and then a complete separate walk-in. Yeah, very good. One person. Great elbow room. Good headroom. You've got an openable porthole. Mm -hmm. It's very useful in the shower. That's the best location. I love that. Very good. Agreed. Let's check out the owner stateroom. Hello. Kind of convenient. All right, let's go all the way aft. Wait. No, back up. There's a staircase. And if I know anything about aft cabin motor yachts, there's got to be something underneath the staircase. Yep. Oh, there's a <gasps> dinghy. There's a dinghy and there's a washing machine. Wow. It looks like a washer and dryer combo. Yep. And what's back there? Battery chargers. Oh, okay. Well, that's good access if you don't have a dinghy stored in here. True. Wow, that's a lot of space here. Good find, huh? Yep. All right, let's go back all the way out now. Oh, this is also storage. Mm-hmm. Wow, it goes all the way in there. It does. It's a very deep storage. Whoa, what is this door? It's a multifunction door. It's your oh, door no to the owner's cabin. Way. What? Yep. I've never seen that before. I kind of like it. Instead of having two doors, yep. this is quite clever. So most of the time, you're just going to leave it open. Correct. But at night, if you want privacy, if you do have guests. You just have the panel exposed, which yeah, is perfectly fine. Yeah, or if you use fine. air condition as well, like yeah. if you're blasting it in your room. This is great. Do you need to go over anything here. So let's see what we have here. We got our air condition control right here. Like we can, you know, set your temperature up and down. Then we have our... 110 panel right underneath that with a switch over between ship and shore power with the sliders and then below that we have our 12 volt panel with all our breakers for the 12 volt as well as the battery switches and then also the bilge blowers and your generator remote let's check out the owner's cabin let's do it so this is nice you've got headroom coming in on aft cabins usually that's the way it's laid out and it's great so it feels nice and open here all right we're coming down so we have that window that we showed you guys from the SWIFT platform. Which is also your emergency exit. Correct. And you can open it up if you wanted to and have a little breeze. You have these openable porthole here. So if you do live in a bit of a cooler climate that you could do that. You don't need to run air conditioning at night. You could have a really nice breeze coming down. We have what? It goes wow. really deep down what in there. What the heck? This is so deep. Yeah. Okay, so it's a hanging locker. Like, you can have long dresses in here, it's so long. I'll leave the long dresses to you. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, and what do we have here? There's an iPad. Mm. Why is there an iPad? I wonder <gasps> what's on the iPad. Is that what mm. I think it is? We did promise you guys a little sneak peek into what our yacht looks like right now. So the way our boat is built, or at least the beginning of it, um, it's getting built upside down and it's two separate structures. One for the hull, which is steel, and one is aluminum, the superstructure. So check out some pictures. So this is our hull, upside down. This is aft. It's a picture actually taken today. And this is Ooh. our superstructure. Look at this. This has already been rotated and it's now actually sitting the right way. Oh, hang on. There's a person. Hi, person. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. This is our bow. One more. One more. This is our hall. We did a little video for you guys this morning. So this is actually our swim platform. That's the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's upside down. And this is our bow. And this is all coming together. Oh, wow. Look, this steel plate is already on there in the corner. Anyway, happy holidays. I hope this was worth it. And there's a lot of content is coming to Naughty Guys. We'll go over all of that. And stay till the very end because we're going to tell you why we're heading back to the shipyard. We have a milestone ahead let's of us. Let's not forget the iPad here. Oh, yeah. Let's not. Oh. <laughs> good, good point. <laughs> back to the, the tour. Okay. We have storage. So all of these. Some drawers, drawer, and another drawer. It's a good size. Oh, actually, they're shorter than I thought. Shorter, but yeah. deep. And then we have our queen size bed. It's a queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's still storage out here. This is a actually pretty good cabin you got. Wow. 
a second this hanging out. locker. Yeah, a hanging locker here, a little bit of space here. That's where the I think old TV used to be back oh, in the maybe. days. And maybe. In 2003, I would make that a nice little jewelry case. And then switcheroo, we have our sink. This is also very similar to how we had it on our boat, and I do like that. It worked really well. So we have our sink here. So if someone's using the toilet or the shower, the other person can still get ready here, which is pretty nice. You can shave or you oh, know do big, makeup or something. Big space. Yeah, great medicine cabinet. Bit of storage down there, and then we have our separate head here. Ah, oh, this is cool. Oh, everything smells so good on this boat. Even the heads smell good. It smells like a cucumber or something. Oh. Great. Right. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyway, we have a bit of storage here, which is also unexpected. Quite nice. So you have your own separate little grabber. And if you think you're watching us for the first time and you think we're some crazy smell people or something. No, it's or just... Or scent people. <laughs> disclaimer, a lot of boats have an unpleasant smell, especially when they get a little older. It's a bit like an RV, I think. You know, if it's not well maintained, it has this kind of a mildewish or so, this, this kind of a specific so boat this, smell. This boat is getting close to 20 years of age. It's, it's one of the best smelling boats <laughs> yeah. uh, on the list. No for diesel sure. smell, no holding very, tank smell. Very, very good. So we have a one person shower, but it's very, very generous. Nice shower. Yeah, and you even have an openable porthole as well. Yeah, and you have this curtain here that you can close up mm -hmm. and keep the door and everything, you know, nice and dry. And a little bench there too. In case you want to read a book or something in a shower. Well, if you're so exhausted from showering, you can like, take a little break. <laughs> no, but honestly, like if you want to shave your legs or something, I mean, it's nice to have. I don't shave my okay. legs. Good to know. <laughs> Should we check out the engine room? Yes, let's do it. More like TMI. Should we check out the engine room? <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So our engine room was just right underneath this table here. Let me open it up. Hello. Oh, there happens to I be. I was wondering, like, when you're giving me the camera to actually <laughs> film something. <laughs> oh, I well, hope you guys welcome get Welcome to the engine room of the Sea Ray 390. So as you guys can see, it is a little bit on the tighter side here. A little bit more like welcome to the dungeon room. <laughs> welcome to the dungeon room. So we have two Cummins diesels, main engines, each 480 horsepower, which like we said earlier, the cruising speed is 23 knots. The top speed is 28 knots, which is pretty freaking fast. So you see all the way on the aft facing wall there, we have primary fuel filters right there to the left. Straight ahead, the fire suppression system, some pump box right there behind, as well as bilge pumps right here in the center. And we have two sea strainers for the main engines. We have a sea strainer right there for the generator. So over here at the port side, we see the generator, which is an Onan generator. And we have a bunch of batteries here in the bilge area. Moving over to the starboard side, we have more batteries here, which uh, seem to me like the start batteries for the main engines. There are the two vacuum flush generators. Then we have the selector valve for the fuel, a primary filter for the generator, fuel filter for the generator, and a little bit of storage there for oils and coolants. And right below me is the holding tank. And then here on the forward facing wall, we have a main DC breaker panel with all the DC breakers, as well as the battery switches, the solenoids for the battery switches. Do you miss our engine room? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to your walk-in engine room? Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Air conditioned too. <laughs> That's true. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Let us know in the comments if you think this would be a suitable liveaboard for you and to give you another Christmas present. We're gonna tell you why we headed back to the shipyard and what is the milestone that we're about to cross. So we're flying to the shipyard because the hull is getting turned and it's getting fused together with the superstructure. So Boom. super excited about this. That's all you're gonna get from us today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and help us share the video. That makes a huge difference. Thank you for sharing. You guys are the best. Ciao. Enjoy the outtakes. Ciao. Welcome aboard 2000. Welcome aboard this 2000. 2000. So what do we have at the bow? An anchor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. It's 
better, the whole bow. How do you say that properly? Is, does it make sense it to you? No. No, okay, then cut that. Cut that out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the door was chasing me. Hold on. All right. 